So let's have a look back at it. Harry Prochik took the lead of the race and in second place was Maximilian Goetz as he tried to wrestle the lead away. Prochik did his best to fend them off. It all got a bit busy in the middle of the pack, but soon Harry Prochik was under some extreme pressure. Everyone was safely through the first couple of laps, although uh, Thomas Jaeger managed to pick up a puncture. He had to come into the pit, still re recovered to finish in 13th place. But here was the battle. Prochik doing well to hang on, but in the end, Maximilian Goetz, with his fresh tyres, was able to get through. Yeah, I mean, it was a clean pass down the inside. Harry Prochik did everything correctly, and he's been saying so all through the post interviews. Here was the big controversial collision, and it was a deem that Sergei Athanathiev just shut the door on the sister Mercedes-Benz, and uh, that was the penalty he had to observe, a drive-through penalty. There were great scraps throughout the field. Vincent Abril and Amar Ibrahim had already come together to bring out the safety car, and then uh, Roman Rusinov went wide at the first corner. He lost out to Mark Basseng, he lost out to Kaka Bueno, and he lost out to one of the WRT Audis as well, and then Bueno lost a lot of time in the pit stops. The battles continued. Zanardi and Ortelli side by side was a joy to watch. Thomas Enger would eventually join in their fun in the orange G-Drive Lamborghini, but Ortelli forced his way past Zanardi and took the place, and then a carbon copy manoeuvre next time around, pretty much, for Thomas Enger. And Zanardi kept getting shuffled down the field there at the hairpin as the BMW struggled. And he'd done well, in fact, to get it so high up the order on a circuit that didn't really suit it. Stefan Ortelli took fourth place away from Alessandro Latif, who also dropped back to finish in eighth place, but he continued on to win the Pro-Am class. And that was the big moment towards the end of the race. Laurence Van Thor running wide, your own Bleeker Molen was furious, and so it'll be very interesting. That incident is under investigation. But Max Buch and Max Goetz are victorious here in Algarve. The next round is in Zolder. We'll see you then.